Speaking of traffic, we've been seeing more and more congestion on the roads, especially in Far East El Paso, and of course, it's no coincidence. It really is, and over the last few years, Far East El Paso has become a hot destination for new businesses and, of course, home developments, and in turn, it has meant, of course, more traffic. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with local business owners and members of City Council on what they see for the future of Far East El Paso and how to improve its infrastructure. Tani. Stephanie, Andy, years ago, Eastlake Marketplace did not even exist, but now this, along with home developments and other booming businesses, contribute to the growing population. For business owners like Erica Nock, who owns Global Coffee Roasters in East El Paso, she has seen the growth firsthand and the convenience of having businesses like her coffee shop be in the area without having to drive long distances. It helps people that are from the east side to just they don't have to go far to go to a restaurant or a coffee shop like they have more options now which back then we didn't have as, nearly as many options like we do now. One problem that arises with more business is the amount of construction and traffic that builds up. According to District 5 City Council Representative Isabel Salcido, traffic solutions are the non priority for her and for those who either open a business or who bought a home in Far East El Paso. We're looking at other ways that we we can connect streets. Uh, we do know that we are we hit the uh, county lines, and so we're looking at ways that we partner up with the county so that we can extend some of these streets and provide um, constituents to be have other ways to get out of their neighborhoods. With the continued growth of Far East El Paso, Nock is grateful that she and other businesses are able to have the opportunities to open their doors, which previously wasn't an easy option. I told myself, I'm like, I need to take advantage of the situation because even though there's not a lot of local coffee shops on this side of town, it definitely is a growing area and it might be it, it might be a good thing, even though it, might, it, it, it was a scary thing, it turned out to be a very good thing. Nock is also hopeful that she will continue to grow her business along with the population, and Salcedo says she's going to continue to work with the businesses that open in her district. Andy? Yeah, and, and Tony, I'm sure there's no easy fix when it comes to solving traffic solutions, but does uh, Representative Salcedo, does she have any in terms of improving the traffic conditions at all there? Well, Andy, what Salcedo told me is that a project she is looking towards is uh, expanding Zaragoza Street from four lanes to six lanes to address the growing population now and in the future. Back to you. And two lanes, that would do the trick. Tawny Davis reporting live from Far East El Paso. Tawny, thank you.